Well, hello again, YouTube. It's Petey Two Finger here to talk about the Thimble Slide. This is a little gadget for guitar players. You slide it on whichever finger you like, and you're able to use it as a slide. It's a, a wonderfully fitting, very comfortable slide. But you can also, you see how my finger's sticking out, uh, you could go ahead and fret. So if you want to fret, you can fret. If you want to slide, you can slide. There you go. Now, today in this video, I wanted to talk about cleaning the thimble slide. Now, I do have a, uh, a container of Tarnex left over from when, when it came out in the 70s. <laughs> Still have mom's Tarnex. And, and since then, I've read uh, magically. And, you know, anytime there is any type of uh, magic, there's always a price to pay. And that's what you find when you read about Tarnax is you're not supposed to use it if you care about the objects that you're removing the tarnish from because it's bad for it. So um, I have begun using uh, homemade concoctions toothpaste cut with a little baking soda and i always have a surplus of uh, scrubby brushes old toothbrushes laying around to help uh, and when today i i noticed my thimble slide looked really uh oxidized it just looked tarnished it was like dark brown and it had a spot on it. You can still see a little bit of that spot here. Anyway, I looked it up, and yes, you're not supposed to use Tarnax on brass. So what do you use? Well, some people use ketchup. Some people will put a layer of tomato paste on it and let that sit, and the acid in that will work wonders. Some people use vinegar, diluted vinegar. Uh, all kinds of different uh, do-it-yourself remedies. I actually had a uh, jug, a, a large container, like an Ajax container, of this stuff called Barkeeper's Friend. That's what I'm going to recommend. You can also get Brasso. Uh, you can clean this with double O fine steel wool anything bigger than that you're going to really scratch it up and regret that you used it so i i to be honest with you i don't recommend that you clean it with steel wool or sandpaper i recommend barkeeper's friend that's a powder you knock out about an eighth of a gram onto the counter sound familiar <laughs> get a toothbrush wet and then go ahead and, and have at it. And before you know it, and it works like magic. So be careful how you clean your precious metals or your brass. In this case, this wonderful contraption called the thimble slide. I'm always going to remember when it looks dirty, hey, no sweat. Trip to the bathroom with the barkeeper's friend is all that I need. And I keep that stuff handy. I love powdered cleansers. My wife will attest the residue left behind whenever I'm cleaning anything. All right, you guys. Uh, if you've never checked out a thimble slide, this is a great gift uh, for yourself or to put on your birthday or Christmas list. Highly recommended. This is the best slide I've ever run into because it fits comfortably. It's lightweight and it works like a charm because it's made of brass. So there you go. And I know people say, well, you can get a wine bottle and get a string. I know all about that. I've been down that road. I've made my own slides. My my favorite is if you take a uh, handlebars from a bicycle and then sand that quite a bit. Uh, this is so much better than anything else I've ever made. Uh, and I love it. Sorry. All right, you guys. Take care. Have fun with your thimble slides. If you don't have one, What's wrong with you? They're only 20 bucks. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.